Hello everyone, I am Mihir Kulkarni from Department of Mechanical Engineering of KIT's College of Engineering Autonomous Kolhapur. We are currently discussing Unit 1 of Mechatonic Systems under which today we will be discussing about Lesson 5 that is Components and Architecture of SCADA. Before this particular lecture, we have already discussed about what is SCADA. SCADA is Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition and we have seen why we are using SCADA, what is the overview of SCADA, what are the different functions of SCADA, uh, what was the history of SCADA, different types of SCADA and finally uh, in the last lecture we have seen uh, what are the different domains in which we are using SCADA systems. Now today we are going to see what are the components and architectures of the SCADA system. So let us discuss uh, architecture of SCADA system. So when we are talking about architecture of SCADA system, uh, the SCADA systems include uh, all these components which are listed on the slide. First is local processors are required. So it is computer based system and that is why local processors are important uh, in the SCADA system. The operating equipments are there. PLCs are used in SCADA system. PLCs are nothing but programmable logic controllers. So are used in SCADA systems. Uh, instruments are used in SCADA systems. RTUs that is remote terminal units. These are the one of the important uh, component which is used in SCADA. What is RTU? That is remote terminal unit. So suppose I wanted to access a terminal or machine which is uh, you can say away from me which is at the remote location. So for accessing that particular unit or for collecting data from that particular unit I will be using different RTUs remote terminal units. Intelligent electronic devices I will be using master terminal unit host computers and PC with human machine interface. So, uh, the person who will be sitting in the control room, for him there will be a software through which it will be interacting with the SCADA system. So, which is called as human machine interface. So, all these components are required into architecture of SCADA systems. Okay. There are some client layers and data server layers which are uh, in the uh, SCADA systems which are used. So you can see this particular diagram where you can see that this is the HMI uh, which is used over here. So this is the HMI. So HMI through HMI a human being can con communicate with this uh, SCADA system. So this is the element where uh, it will be kept into you can say control room and through this control room a human being will be controlling. So whatever inputs which are given by human being to the HMI are given to the SCADA master over here. So SCADA master uh, will be uh, you can say uh, uh, taking this particular inputs and will be communicated to the SCADA RTUs. So you can see that through this communication network. Uh, the whatever information which is given by the human beings are getting communicated to the SCADA RTU. <coughs> so as we discussed, these RTUs are nothing but remote terminal units. So which are connected to different sensors and actuators. So suppose I wanted to operate one switch. This input is given by the human being to the HMI and this is given to the SCADA master. Uh, SCADA master will communicate these things to the SCADA uh, you can say RTU which is right RTU which is connected to that particular actuator and SCADA RTU will communicate it to the actuator which is connected 
to this particular SCADA RTO. So this actuator will operate that button over there. So this is how this is one particular uh, you can say uh, network we have seen. Similarly, the data which is collected by the sensors are given to the RTUs and these RTUs are giving it to the network and through the network it is coming to the SCADA master through human machine interfaces. Uh, this will be communicated to the human being. So, this is how a SCADA system is working. Uh, the architecture of the human, uh, you can say SCADA system is something like this. Okay. So, you can see another view of uh, this particular uh, architecture where you can see that this SCADA host uh, are here, uh, SCADA nodes are here. So, you are dividing uh, this particular load to the multiple nodes. These nodes are connected to multiple RTUs. So, this is the uh, some group of RTUs, these are the some group of RTU which are connected to the different nodes. <clears throat> they are connected through the LAN network. So, this is LAN network, this is also a LAN network and uh, another group of RTU is connected to the uh, you can say SCADA node and these SCADA nodes are connected to the SCADA host. Okay, So, this is a kind of uh, from RTUs to SCADA nodes, SCADA nodes to the uh, SCADA host, this is how the communication is happening. So, uh, if it is a architecture of the, uh, you can say SCADA, the components are placed like this into the SCADA systems. Okay. So, let us see what are the different components, what are the, uh, you can say, use of these kind of components that we will try to understand. So, the first component is uh, HMI second is communication interface, third is PLC, fourth is SCADA programming, fifth is RTU, sixth is uh, supervisory system. So, these are the components which are used in uh, you can say SCADA system. Uh, we will discuss about these kind of components uh, into uh, you can say upcoming slide. Thank you so much.